There's going to be a day when all of this is behind me, and it's going to be a very sweet day. And I'm going to remember those who were with me, and I'm going to remember those who were against me. Not shockingly, the biggest OMG moment came between Sutton and Erica yet again. They're going at it. And this time Sutton says she's gonna go about things a little differently and a little less nicely. Hmm. I definitely am ready for a hardcore conversation with her. I'm gonna say, I said, I'm not buying it. One of the biggest reveals that Sutton uh, brought up about how she feels is her thoughts on this whole divorce. You think that, that it's possible that it is a sham, the divorce? I'm not going to say that it's impossible. It looks fishy. To be fair, in Sutton's defense, this dinner started with her trying ing to chat with Erica before the whole crowd sits down. Doesn't go well. Do you want to talk to me or not? I don't. I don't. I have enough problems. I only have enough capacity for the things that really matter. And your opinion of me does not matter. Now, while Erica's kind of just taking this time to rail on Sutton, thinking that that's going to be the main target of the night, Dorit, unshockingly, opens her mouth and says some things kind of on Sutton's side. I can never tell with Dorit what she's doing, but this is what she did. My life, I understand what I'm that. going through does not affect you in any single your drop Erica, of your life. Erica, I love you, I support you. I don't agree with that. Why? Every time an article is written, our names are dragged into it and you know it. I will say drink every time Dorit says orphans and victims over and over and over again because she brought it up tonight at dinner. Very fair, that is the topic of the conversation. But she loves to do the hand, she's doing the Macarena with it. Don't really understand why. And this is what Erica kind of like jabs at her extra. Holy shit. when you're reading about the victims and the orphans and the women, that's very hard to digest. How do you think I feel? I think you feel exactly like we all feel. Yeah. I think you no, feel No, I exactly feel a lot worse than you do. Yeah. And Mr. Artie Jane has a little bit of a monologue moment, if you will, in terms of Chicago. Just kind of like, why are you torturing me? Gets intense. Let it go. Why are you all Let it go. doing Let this? Let it go. Let it go. Honey, there's nothing, nothing that's being I'm done to at you. I'm looking all of you. What are you doing? While all this is going on, I mean, Kathy Ellen's pissed because her staff is just mortified at all this going down. And then Kyle, who I almost forgot was at this dinner, because she was just sitting there, decides to just rag on Sutton, kind of making her out to be the punching bag when then we were all at Dorit's house two weeks ago. We know you had questions too, but this is what she was doing to Sutton. And I'm sorry, you're my friend, but you're not being honest. And you're putting us in a bad position. You're looking two-faced. Sutton, you said no. Next time I, I see liar. Erica, I'm going to be honest with her and be straight I up. I think she's lied. I don't think about she's been honest. About what? And you, yes. About what? I'm sorry, Sutton, but you said it. Now, Bravo did not give us a teaser for part two. But if this part one is any indication, get ready. Set your DVR if that's still a thing, because it's going to be good. You have a lot of nerve. Don't talk to me like that. Or what? Seriously. Or what? <laughs> or nothing. Right, exactly. I Shut the up.